Yo, 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 what's up, my peoples, my peepets? All right, look at baby. It is just about almost 4.15. I said I was going to run with these probably about 4.35-ish. But um, I'm going to show you all these bad boys. I'm going to turn this camera around. So I've been had these bad boys on brine. Oh, yeah, look at that coloration of that one B-Rap and that second B-Rap. Yeah, I really can't turn my hand around right there and roll with that wrist. I'm going to show you all something. I'm going to show you all some of these. I just took them off the brine. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Be that is just so beautiful. I'm going to bring them over here. Drop it in the pan. Let y'all get a good look at that. Look at that. Yes, all the inners are clean. Look at those loins. Would you look at those nice, tender loins on that thing right there? Let's turn him over. Let's open him up. Oh, yeah. His loins are not, are not as juicy and fat as the other ones, but... That one is, of course, and there's number two, rock and roll. So what we're going to commence to doing is we're going to chop this breastplate up right here on both of them, and we're going to clean that out a little bit. So I'm going to put my phone down. Oh, turn the camera around so I can see it. And uh, my flavor is, of course, going to be a little SPG. A little garlic, salt, pepper, and a little cayenne for the heat. So, as usual, got to strap up. Hold on, my fan on right with like. Boom. Clear the flies. Turn the fan on, baby. Got to clear the flies, you heard me? It's your boy Shotgun 101. I tell y'all, I do more than just they just uh, deer meat and all that good stuff. Oh, yep, boop, boop, boop. Boop. Him. Let's go to hope. Oh, man, look at that. Did you hear that crack? Show y'all what that thing looks like inside. Look at that. That is the inside of that B wrap. Look at those nice, those nice ribs there, baby. God damn it, boy. We's about to get down. Shit. God damn. It's a new day. Hey, boy, your boy Shotgun don't play, boy. Turn some of that. What we don't want around the neck. Yeah, ho. They can't even do that. Shit. Man, tell you what. No, I'm not a culinarius. I'm a pit master. But with the culinary, with the culinaryism, ha -ha, if there's such words, it comes with learning how to trim, trim and prep. And get everything how it's supposed to be before you add all your seasonings and everything to the meat. So we are looking, we are looking pretty damn. Ooh, look at that. We don't want any of that. That's coming out the rabbit spine. Look at that. Yes, wow. I'm over here. And, ooh, let's let's get him, baby. Got a little membrane going on right here. On the inside of them ribs. Mm -hmm. As y'all didn't know, there is a membrane on every little rib that you get. You might not think it is, but it is. So, I always want to treat your meat like it's very, very special. Like it's special, special, baby. And we are looking, oh, let's take that off. We are looking nice. Neat and on that second one, nice, neat, and cheap. Yes, so on my brine, I want to tell y'all, I went ahead and I added all. Uh, I did a salt water brine with um, I'm gonna cut it to that, so we're good. So I did a salt water brine with um, with some kosher salt, and I went ahead and I'll get some of that off right there, and I added some Texas Pete hot sauce. I mixed all that in. And uh, that gave it just a nice little, just a, you really can't see because the sun's shining, but it gave it just a nice little reddish color. Nice little reddish color. It looked look pink, it looked pink uh, to you all, but to me, I'm actually seeing a nice reddish color right off in there, right off in the meat. Oh, now you bring that kitten. You damn sure don't want that. Yeah. Nice little, nice little reddish color off onto the meat. And, uh, that's kind of what you want it, you know, the hot sauce there, just look for, look for a little flavor, a little flavor from wine. 
cook course, we're gonna start with a little lottery salt. You know, wanna 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 heat him up just a little bit. Heat him up just a little bit, baby. Heat him up. Not a whole lot, baby, just a little bit. Not a whole lot, baby, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Get down there between them thighs. Get down there between them guys. Come here, baby. Don't be running. Don't run from that. Oh, silky, silky. Turn them over. Look up them arms. Look right there behind that neck. Oh, yeah. Move flies. We don't want y'all. You guys are no you so uh, smooth, baby. Let me crack that onion, y'all. know y'all don't like to smell them, them onions. Not onion, but onions, onions. And what your boy doing right here. So we gonna pick this up nice and lightly. It looks heavy, but it's not, trust me. We're gonna go back and move over a little bit there. Yep. The same one this way. So what you wanna do here. No, bland rabbit ain't good. If you're a country boy, bland rabbit ain't good. And if I had it, you would like it. As long as it's done right. You see, that's the problem with everybody who uh, do wild game. They don't like it because the first time they had it, it wasn't done right. But it was from their uncles, their granddaddies, their brothers. Shit, they, they homeboys, their neighbors. Old man Rick across the street. Old man Bob on the corner. Yeah, it wasn't done right. Hell, I wouldn't want it either. Shit, I don't give a damn. Finna, finna get me sick. Hell, thin in this all. This all. Now, y'all know. Look, I got one more four five off in that refrigerator, bro. But I also got me some Bud Light. I'm excuse me. Not Bud Light, uh, some Bush Ice. But I can't fuck that right now, so. All right, we can put that down. Good job, straight on that black pepper. God damn. Hey, look at Bo. Go get on that black pepper right there, you heard me? It's a new day. Now, whoop, whoop, don't want to go too heavy. This still comes out nice and, nice and coarse. Get him right. Now, I'm off in there. Again, for y'all that don't know, rabbit tastes like chicken. So, like chicken. Smoked chicken, fried chicken, grilled chicken, whatever. You like rabbit. Of course, of course it's gonna be done nice and tender and I'm gonna show y'all this when I'm when I get set. Not only do we drop it on here like this right here, we also have to kind of rub it in and massage it in a little bit. Drop it in the fridge and kind of let it sit, get off in the loins. We want them loins, but it has some flavor to them because the other things that drop in the quickness. Yeah, we don't want that like eating on that beef jerk. Hard and dry. Hell to the this all this all. I don't want that bullshit. Give damn, we got flavor or not. We'll come back with a little garlic. A little garlic. I'm gonna massage all this shit in, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that garlic right there, boy, gonna help. It's gonna help boost all that. It's gonna help boost that brine. It's gonna boost that, that coarse pepper. That kosher salt. That seasoned salt. And last but not least, that cayenne and that onion gonna bring it all together to kill all that wild taste. So if you don't know, that ask somebody. This right here, guys, what they call in the barbecue world, it's a little slight form of SPG. Sick. So this. You ain't really got to put them all over him like you trying to rub in lotion and all that. Of course, it look like I am, but really I'm not with this. Get it in right between the shoulder blades there. Backside. Backside all that right there. That there. And last but not least, you definitely want to, if you like it, you want to add that heat. I love my heat, so... Yeah, I love heat on that meat. Now again, with this, then how hot you want it, really where you want to heat at, we all gonna be eating it. And you can heavy it, or you can just kind of lightly, uh-oh, 
Why did you just dab it up? In this case, it wants to stuck. Got the fan behind me. I want to get it definitely, definitely down off in that, off in the side. Side wounds. Yep. Pick my main man up. So here, if I had my guess, I said we got brother and sister. Now, which one was bigger? I don't know. I say the brother. The man just got caught slipping. They got, they got caught slipping in old man John Thorne. Let me see. Oh, camera all, camera all whack. My dog over here trying to, trying to mess things up here. Like I say, they, they must have got caught slipping in old man John Thorne. Over oh, there trying to get his carrots. Old man John said, oh, yeah, to the now, baby. I'm going to get you. And along with my carrots, your ass is going to the market, baby. Here to the market we go. That's it, guys. And we take our hands. And all we do is smooth out. We just kind of flat. Kind of like spanking that baby ass. We tap him in. A little bit, and all off in there. Two finger, two finger tap off in the loins. I don't want to rub. You don't want to tear the meat up. Same deal off in the uh, around the neck area, and around the front paws, underneath the arm bits. Do the same thing there. Same thing to the next one. And uh, what we're gonna do next? We're gonna uh, sit these things off in the refrigerator. I let this season here sit for a little bit, wrap it back up. See it's too hot for me to fire my grill up, so I ain't gonna do that yet. I want these seasons to sit on this thing and get this up all the way live. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, sharp side, took my scissors here, and I'm going to go ahead and chop some of these, uh, chop up a few, chop up a few of these, uh, few slices of this and let it sit in here kind of kill some of that wild flavor let it sit on there and we gotta do much to it just, just kind of let it just sit on there yep. sit on the back meat sit on for the ribs and then what I'm gonna do next when I start my grill I'm gonna drop these off in the drop these uh these onions off in the flavor. And uh that's gonna put a little more a little more nice flavor in the air. I ain't gonna use it all because not on this. I'll drop the rest of it inside my uh on top of my coats. And uh put some underneath them. Yep. Cut them up a little. Yep, there you go. Sit on that thing, that partner. There you go. Yep. I said sit on that thing, partner. But uh, don't, 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 don't take that the wrong way. That's not what I meant. Um, I'm just talking, talking to the food, baby. A little food porn. Ain't no gayness over here, by no way, sorry. So I should have said sit on that thing, Sally. Come on, Sally. Uh, put a ring on Sally's neck. Yep. Put a ring, put a ring around on the neck. Put everything, be everything. And uh, give me another little piece here. There you go. Yeah, cut me another little, another little slice here. All I need, a couple pieces to be honest with you. And uh, this is real simple here, dude. So, you know, okay, man can do it. Like I say, if you don't know, ask Ask Grandma Willie. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Ask Grandma Willie. Willie May. Or ask Granddaddy Charlie. Granddaddy Earl. Uncle Earl. Somebody. On how to rock and roll and make this happen. If you don't know. If you do know. Shit. You better come on in. I say you better. You better come on in. Let me show you something. Take off one bit. No dog. Yep, turn this camera around so y'all can see everything. Oh man, 
Them rabbits is nicely seasoned. Got some onions on there. Again, I'm just gonna cover this up with the foil. Got to smell like onion pull. Any raw dangerousness up out of that meat before I throw it on the heat. Now, I can say it's very, very warm out here, so I might not put this on there at about 536, somewhere around there. It's still gonna be daytime. We're gonna go two hours. I'm gonna go about two, two hours, 15, 30 minutes, somewhere around there. And uh, we're looking for an internal temp, an IT temp of 165, 170. When I say 170, that's gonna be that. That's gonna be that pulling temp. That's gonna be that pulling temp, and then we're gonna grab my homeboy. So I go clean my mess up and get right. That 170 is really gonna be 165 when I go in and rip it off of there. And uh, she cooled back down, baby. It's gonna be 165. All that juice gone. You know what I'm talking about? That's what we do. Well, in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna holler at y'all. I'll get back with y'all when I get ready to fire up that grill. You heard me? Shotgun barbecue, baby. Bam, one-on-one, -on -one, rabbit. I'm about to post on my YouTube page. It is what it is. Hey, but we're gonna eat, have fun, drink, shower, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, go hit the gym, baby. Today was chest day, tomorrow back day. Bam, and I gotta go. Peace. All my physical therapy, because y'all know I did break my back two years ago. So I have to kind of do what I got to do to kind of tighten that thing back up again. So I don't, oh, pimp down, oh, pimp down, you dig? All right, I'm out, peace.